Andrew, and I'm a stylist with Prosper You. This is my gorgeous model, Lizette. Lizette has a very classic haircut, a very geometrical bob. So today we're gonna be doing a classic blow dry. This blow dry will include power drying, flat wrapping, leafing, beveling, and gathering. To do this blow dry, we'll be using a classic nine row styling brush. Now this brush has a rubber base and nylon bristles. It's great for getting good tension to the hair, really helping smooth down the cuticle. Now it also is half round, so we do get a little bit of lift to the hair. We don't want it to be too straight, but we do want it just to fall in its natural position. Now to prep her hair, I wanna use just a little bit of a light oil. This is going to help seal down the cuticle, speed up our blow dry time. I just apply it through the ends. I never wanna concentrate in oil at the root area. And I'll layer this um, with a light hold gel on top, just a pearl size amount. I like to layer my product so I can start um, by adding some moisture in the hair and then building to add a little bit of hold. This light gel is going to give us just a little bit of a bend and keep all of our techniques that we're using in place where they should be. We'll give a quick comb just to distribute the product evenly. And we're going to begin with our power dry. Now when I power dry, I just want to dry to where the hair is not too wet, not too dry. Now, Lizette normally has a little bit of curl to her hair, so we don't want to over dry the hair. I am concentrating this just at the root, start to get rid of a little excess moisture, and then we'll move into our flat wrap. I'm ready to begin our uh, flat wrapping portion of the blow dry. So when I flat wrap, I want to move the hair in all directions. I'm really focusing on shifting that cuticle in a lot of ways so that way the hair can fall in its natural position. Now when I do this, I'm going to start right here at this front. I'm going to work around to the other side and then from this side, I'll work back around to my original. When I do a flat wrap, I just wanna target the root area of the hair. I'm not looking to remove moisture through the ends. I'll get that when I do leafing and gathering. When I flat wrap the hair, I wanna use really fine sections. I'll comb the hair parallel so that way I can follow that shape with my brush, pushing the hair forward. I don't wanna take sections that are any bigger than a quarter to a half inch. So now that we've flat wrapped, we've concentrated just at our root area. We've worked the hair back and forth, um, and I always wanna make sure that my root area is completely dry. Something to keep in mind, as I was flat wrapping, I went straight through those ends, so that way they're not just going out and, and creating frizz on their own. I'm constantly controlling them. I'm using the head as an ironing board to really work out any kinks in the hair. Now, because she has some graduation in the back, I'm going to continue to flat wrap this bottom part. It's really important to flat wrap this area and not move into leafing too soon. If you move into leafing, you're going to create too much volume down here and you're not going to have it lay properly. So a good rule of thumb, anything below the occipital, we wanna just push back and forth, really working that so it stays down um, right where it is supposed to be. Now that this section below the occipital is completely dry, I can move into leafing. So to leaf, I'm going to leaf the back two sections of the hair, and then we're gonna switch it up for the front. So let me show you this first. I wanna work this um, in two sides. That's what I find to be the easiest. Now when I'm working on Lizette's left hand side, I have my brush in my right hand. I want to just separate out sections Starting from above the occipital, I'm going to brush that parallel. If you need to use your finger to hold it in place, you can. And then I'm able to just lift the hair up and go straight through. We never wanna scoop the hair. That's going to cause us to get stuck. It's going to bend those ends under. So I just move the hair out of the way. I insert my brush and then I can slide right through. So I'll do this in sections, moving all the way up the head now keep in mind, with a classic shape, um, and with most of our blow dries, as we elevate up the head, we also wanna elevate our brush as well. 
So we move up the head and our elevation increases. When leaping, you really want to focus on the mids and then the ends. We already completely dried the base with flat wrapping, so we don't need to focus on that area. When you leaf the hair, you want to be sure that each section is completely dry before you move on. This will prevent your style from collapsing and becoming unmanageable. In order to get each section completely dry, you may have to work the same section a few times. You can do this by simply picking up the hair with your fingers and placing the brush back in. So as I move to Lizette's right hand side, I'm going to switch around how I'm holding my brush. I'm gonna have it in my left hand and my dryer in my right hand this time. Um, again, I'm going to just split this side out. This side is completely dry, it's cooled, it's where we want it to be. So as I move, again, I'm just grabbing the hair. I'm not scooping to grab. I just separate out and I'm grabbing parallel to my sections, watching my elevation. Now something to also keep in mind, as we grab each section, our blow dryer should always be pushing down the hair cuticle. We never wanna blow into the hair. We always want it to gloss and go straight down. That way it seals the cuticle and we reduce any frizz. Another thing to keep in mind, as we let those ends cool, you want them to cool in the brush. That way they're really following that shape of the brush, getting a little of that round already in there. And also it allows the cuticle to fully seal nice and smooth. So now as we move on to our sides, we're gonna switch up our technique just a little bit. Now, you could go ahead and continue leafing these bottom sections. We definitely wanna get a lot of good tension. That's usually where people have a little bit of a resistant curl is around the hairline, so we wanna make sure that's nice and smooth. Um, but what we're going to do is go ahead and just start gathering. Now when I gather, what I'm going to do is you can either brush the hair parallel back this way, or you can brush it forward this way. But I'm going to separate out my section. I'm going to grab it with my brush. My section is no wider than what my brush is. So I'm using really small sections here. I'm able to separate that out and gather it up. I'm going to take my index finger and my middle finger and hold that section. Okay, and then I'm going to brush through it a couple of times so that way the ends are laying nice and smooth in my brush. So I brush through it, so you can see it, I brush through it, and then I can start to apply my blow dryer. This is going to help us keep this really nice and smooth. It's going to give us a very controlled um, outcome. So again, I'm keeping my elevation low, I brush through it, and I start to keep it nice and low. Once I get to those ends, if I do want a little more bevel, I can just twirl my brush a couple of times, keep those ends right in place, let it cool, and then drop it. Just like with leafing, you want to be sure each section is completely dry, so we may go over the same section more than once. So as I move to Lizette's opposite side, I'm going to switch my brush position so it's back um, to how I originally started, with my brush in my right hand and my blow dryer in my left. Again, I'm going to take parallel sections, just keeping those nice and clean with my finger if I need to. I pick that up with my brush, use my index finger and my middle finger to brush through that a couple times, make sure it's nice and smooth. I insert it again right at the base, let my airflow point down, allow that to cool in the brush, and then I drop it. And finally, as we do this fringe, I'm just going to flat wrap it back and forth. I really wanna work out any kinks in the hairline. We already kind of took care of that with our flat wrap earlier, but I wanna make sure that we have it laying in both directions exactly how we wanna place it. And then I'm going to bring those forwards and direct them more towards myself. So that way they lay nice and smooth, and then we can form them right into the rest of our haircut. All right, so now that we've finished, I noticed that we have just a few little flyaways that happens with every haircut. So I always like to take just a light hold finishing spray, gloss it right over, piece everything, and make sure it's laying perfectly where I want to. Before I do that, I'll show you how everything's nice and smooth. We can really see our line. Everything should be really crisp and clean without having to use much product. So a classic way to style this out would just be to finish Again, I'm just using a light hold hairspray. I spray it down the hair shaft to 
just to get any little flyaways around. I still want to have a little bit of uh, body and volume. I'm not trying to just slick it down, but I do want it all just to lay nice and smooth. It should look like glass. Now a second way to style this, if you're looking for something a little more edgy, a little more fun, uh, Lizette has this beautiful red hair. Red hair is very difficult to make it shiny and vibrant, so I like to use just a really light hold silicone spray. I can spray this right into her hair and I work it around with my blow dryer. This gives it a little bit of a light separation and it also glosses up this color. It makes it look really brilliant and really expensive. So by adding that light silicone, we have taken our classic shape and made it a little bit more modern, a little bit more funky and age appropriate. Um, we have a really awesome color. We want kind of that edgy style to pair with it. So now we know how to style both ways. The Nine Row Styling Brush is great for short, geometric, classic styles. It provides you with good tension and it really helps smooth down the cuticle. The concentrator is a great tool to use when using the blow dryer. It allows you to direct airflow exactly where you want it and to control your style. Apply a light oil to the hair through the mids and ends on towel dried hair. Layer a light hold gel on top, also from mids to ends. Use a wide tooth comb to comb through the product for even distribution. Start on one side at the front hairline, work all the way around the head and then back. Be sure to use small section, no larger than a quarter to a half an inch. During the flat wrap, focus at the root area, making sure it is completely dry. Even though we are only drying the roots, we still want to brush all the way through the ends to control the hair. Before moving on, really work your flat wrapping through the occipital, especially for someone who has graduation. When leafing, work in two panels, focusing on the mids and ends. When you are on the left side, Hold your brush in your right hand and vice versa. Place the brush in parallel, lift the hair up and work straight through. As you move up the head, increase your elevation. Work each section until it is completely dry. In the front two quadrants, brush the hair parallel. Gather your section with your brush and then grab the hair with your fingers and brush through it a couple of times. This technique really helps you control your style and keep it smooth. Work each section until it is completely dry and only bevel the ends as you work up the head. Flat wrap the hair back and forth to break any growth patterns and then bring them forward to keep the fringe nice and smooth. Use a light hairspray to set your style and control flyaways. To finish your look, use a light hold silicone spray with your blow dryer and spray it into the hair for separation and shine. So this is our finished look. We did a very classic blow dry for a classic geometric haircut, but we did spice it up a little bit at the end with our spray silicone, just to give it a nice gloss, nice finish. So that's how you style with knowledge. Thanks for watching.